Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am good. I am trying to get through my highlighters and I miscounted. <clears throat> Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. I have one more of my face palette collection and then I have my highlighters from my eyeshadow palettes. Let's get going. The first one I have, I'm not even sure where I got it. And I'm not even sure what it's called. But this is Tarte High Performance Naturals. I don't know what it, I can't read what it says on the back. Um, it's just a palette with a bronzer, blush, and a highlight. This is the blush right here. It is called Pink Champagne. It is really soft. Okay, are you not? It's not swatching very well, but it is a gorgeous highlighter. It can be built up, but I think it is absolutely stunning. As well, as you can see, um, it has a nice sheen to it. Now, this next one I picked up off of Poshmark because it was no longer available by Becca, and this is their Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. You guys, if you guys follow me, you know how much I love their Apri Ski Eye Light Palette. And so I did pick up, the names are on this card, so I, hopefully I can read them for you. Um, so I did pick up the Ocean Jewels set. I do have the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette. I still want the highlighter palette from the Apri Ski collection, but I haven't been able to get it yet. So let's see if I can read this for you guys. Oh, it's just not going to let me unless I'm on the mirror. Okay, this first one, this pink one right here is called Coral Crystal. Coral Crystal. Then we have Citrine, this beautiful yellow green. Then we have, holy smokes, aquamarine. It's like a taupe almost. Then we have pink, pink, oh, pyrite. It's this peachy pink right here. And then I'm going to do my thumb, even though I don't like doing my thumb. It is called sunstone. It's this beautiful gold right here. So we have, I'm going to struggle through this all over again. We have Coral Crystal. Where'd we end? We have Coral Crystal. Oh, that's pretty. We have Citrine. We have, can you guys tell I'm excited about these? Aquamarine, and yet I haven't played with them. Then we have Pink Pyrite. I'm not as impressed with that. Okay, I have rubbed off the last one, which is Sunstone onto my arm. So let me swatch it again. It's this beautiful gold. It's a darker shade. And this is Sunstone. So those are the highlighters from the Ocean Jewels palette. Those are absolutely stunning. I really, for me, I really like that coral, is it crystal? Yeah, that first one I think is absolutely stunning, but I also like sunstone. <laughs> Lori needs to play, Lori needs to play. Okay, I picked up the sleek palette and I picked up the wrong one. I wanted the one that was a little darker, but I do have the Solstice palette by Sleek. I know this is extremely popular um, amongst people, but since I picked up the wrong one, I have not used this, sorry about this. I have not used this and I need to use it. I have swatched it, but I haven't used it. This is a cream and then the rest are um, powders so, but there is no names, so I am just going to 
swatch them. I'm even looking on the back to see if there's any names. No, I mean, they're gorgeous. So this is the cream one right here. It's very light. Can you guys see that? Then we have the this one right here, kind of a vanilla shade. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful vanilla. That kind of reminds me of vanilla quartz. Then we have this like yellow gold here. Oh, look, I'm all stained. And then we have kind of like a rose gold. I'm lost. So lost without you. Okay. So that is it right there. I have... I'm not quite sure what's going on, but that is the sleek palette. That is gorgeous. I was bummed I didn't get the darker ones, but why I haven't played with these lighter ones, I don't know because see, they are gorgeous. Glory. Get off your high horse and play. Look at that. Those are just stunning, just stunning. So this is my new, one of my newest acquisitions. This is the Sugar Wafer Palette by Sephora. I picked it up because there was such good reviews on it and it was on clearance. And you guys, those good reviews are for a reason. These are beautiful. Now this is one side. This is like the cooler side. And then you pop over here and these are, um, the warmer side. So we have one highlighter, one blush, and one bronzer on each side. So this one, there's unfortunately, oh, there is names. This is Caramel. The names are on the back, so I'm hoping I'm reading it right, and I'm hoping I don't flash you with the mirror. And then this is Vanillionaire that is a mouthful so this is caramel and vanilla in there we have caramel and vanilla in there look at vanilla in there but caramel is holding its own look at that pretty i swore i would never own this and then it went on sale and my friend loved this palette and so i picked it up because she liked it, and I like it. I like it a lot. That's Kat Von D's Alchemist Holographic Palette. It's a face and eye highlighter palette. I'm sure you have all seen it a bazillion times. I have worn it a couple of times, but not enough to really have an opinion. I think they are strikingly beautiful. We have Green Emerald is up at the top. Then we have Blue Sapphire, which is up at the top as well. In the middle, we have Ultra Violet Amethyst. What a, what a name. Oh, those are so soft. And then we have, what do we have? Pink Opal. I'm not quite sure which ones I wore. I might have worn all of them, but I think they are gorgeous. We have green emerald. We have blue sapphire. I like how she has the, co the color in quotes. We have ultraviolet amethyst. Look at that. And then we have pink opal. So those are the four from The Alchemist. Those are gorgeous. Okay, these last two are also new to my collection. They were on clearance for half off, which still was a little expensive, but I wanted both of these and I held out forever and I thought I would not get them. And I got them and then they came out with the singles of some of them. But I wanted every shade in these palettes. I could have lived without the Hula because I have Hula. But I got both of the cheek leaders, the bronze and the pink. And I'm excited for them. This is 
the Cheek Leaders Bronze Palette. I think it's gorgeous. It has Gold Rush Cookie, which they just came out with a single of. They have the Hula Caramel, which I swatched in Hawaii and fell in love with. I think this is an absolutely stunning shade, even for my light skin tone. Then they have Hula, which I already have, but that's okay. I can have bronzer for the rest of my life. And then they have Coral Lisa. But Cookie is the highlighter in this palette. So let's go ahead and swatch Cookie. I know that she is like the talk of the town right now. Rightfully so. She is absolutely beautiful. However, however, in the pink one, this is the pink cheek leaders. We have Hula all over again. I'm trying to get the plastic out, guys, without taking off, out the product in here. We have Hula again. So I am, I am good on bronzer for the rest of my life, so please remind me when I want to buy a bronzer that I do not need to. I also have California. Is it California? I don't know how to pronounce it. I've wanted this blush forever, so I'm excited to have that. I have Dandelion, Pinkle, and then I have Dallas, which I think is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. So that leaves me with Tickle. I swatched Tickle and Cookie at the same time in the store, and I am here to tell you that I like Tickle more than Cookie. That's probably going to get me um, in big trouble with a lot of you, but I do. I just think Tickle is so pretty. Maybe it's because I'm really into pink highlighters right now. I don't know, but it's just beautiful. But I understand why they came out with singles of Cookie and Tickle because they're both gorgeous. The next one is by Naked Cosmetics. I got this in the Yes So oh Yes. Um, subscription box. Naked Cosmetics won me over. I had a problem with my um, palette. This is the Holographic Highlighter Collection palette. I had a problem with mine. I sent them an email because Yes Oh Yes said they don't do anything about it. You have to contact the company straight. I contacted them within a day. I had a response from them and they sent me out a new palette. I was willing to send them pictures of my issue and they didn't want pictures. They just sent me out a new palette off of what I said. So Naked Cosmetics, they are awesome. I would love to own more from them. Um, come on, this is a gorgeous palette. We've got the peach, pink, Kind of a, I don't know. I don't know how to ex describe those colors. Then we've got the green. So peach, purple, oh, peach, pink, or that's orange and green. Let's swatch those real quick. We've got pe pink, peach, peach. Pink. Oh, that pink is coming across as purple. No wonder. This is the orange one. Oh, I like the orange one. This is the green one. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Then I have blue and yellow. Is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. Blue. Oh, yeah, I just should have swatched it. And then yellow. That is absolutely stunning. I do like holographic palettes. I have to be in the mood for them, but I do like them. And these are so beautiful. They are just like butter to um, when you dip your finger into them. They're just soft and gorgeous. Is Cover F is Cover FX. It's their perfect highlighting palette. This is one of my oldest palettes next to Cargo and Elf. This is probably right up there. The names are on the back of here, so I will do my best 
to tell you what they are, okay? And I'm hoping I do not read them backwards. So here we have rose gold. Then we have prism. And then we have blossom. Those are the top row. Oh, I cleaned my arm, so that is rose gold. Prism, oh, prism's bright. And blossom, oh, blossom's very pretty. My kind of girl. There is a nice mirror in here too, if you didn't notice. All right, and then the second row we have gilded, celestial, and golden peach. It's those three right there. Where'd we end? Gilded. Oh, that's pretty. Celestial. That's kind of like a taupe, isn't it? And golden peach. So we have some cooler shades and some warmer shades. I like that. I really like this palette. I think it is gorgeous. I do wear it a lot. The next one is my Tartist Contour um, Palette. This is what it looks like here. We've got some contouring, we've got some bronzing, we have a blush, and we have two highlighters. This middle one is called Glow, and then this one is called Highlight. But I do not think it's actually named. I guess the names really don't work. So this is Glow. Oh, Glow. Hello, Glow. And then this is Highlight. Oh, hello, Highlight. Those are pretty. Those are very beautiful. I do like those shades. This next one is Lorac's Shine Bright Contour. Oh, Color Source and Light Source Cheek Palette. It was from last year's holiday collection. I did get the Shine Bright eyeshadow palette and I love both of them. I think they are both beautiful. We have got blushes. These are all blushes. I think this could work as a highlighter and then this is a highlighter. So we are actually going to swatch those two as a highlighter. Now the top one, um, Bold Spirit, it may not be considered a highlighter, but to me it looks like one. And then we have Opalescent. That's a beautiful name. So those are the two. We have Bold Spirit. Yeah, I would wear that as a highlighter or a blusher topper. And then we have, oops, I just bumped my arm with it, Opalescent. That is very pretty. So those are pretty. Yeah, that one right there, that is right up my alley. This next one is brand new. I I received it probably a week ago, a week and a half ago. This is my MAC Ignite Wonder Face Palette. I do not know if it's a new release, if it's an old release, whatever. I got it for a really good price. What I do not like about it is the names are on this plastic, which is frustrating. But this is what they look like. I think these two right here are blushes. And then this could work as a blush, but it also could work as a highlighter. So I'm actually going to swatch all three of these and then this bottom um, one as well. So the first one is called Wonder Who. Some Kind of Wonderful. Oh, I loved that movie. Any Wonder. And then this is Girl Wonder. So those are the four shades. This one didn't come across very well. Any Wonder. I'm going to put just a little more on there. Neither did Girl Wonder. Okay, there we go. So the first one is Wonder Who. Oh, that didn't swatch well. That's not good. Some kind of wonderful. Okay. No wonder why they were on sale. Any wonder? And girl wonder. Okay, if I turn it, I see the shades. I really like this one, 
called Any Wonder. And I like this one, which is Wonder Who. But holy smokes, they're not very pigmented. I guess you can build them up. Let's see if that's possible. I want to see if that's possible. Okay, I want to make sure I get them on the right one. This is Wonder Who. Some kind of wonderful. Any wonder? And girl wonder. Okay, they can be built up. I still believe that any wonder and wonder who are the prettiest. Girl wonder is pretty. I'm not a fan of some kind of wonderful. Anyways, those are the four shades. I'm really bummed about this. This is, like I said, this is brand new. I've had it a week, maybe two. I might return this because I'm really, um, I'm really let down by the pigmentation in this product. That's, that's just highly unfortunate. So that is all I have for um, my face palette highlighters. I hope you are well. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. Be safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.